There's a lot going on with our weather over the next few days. This weekend, low pressure will bring wind and rain. And as it clears, the risk of disruptive winds for some, whilst cold air returns on Saturday night into the north, bringing the risk of disruptive snowfall and ice for northern Scotland. Now, by the start of next week, that cold air plunges across all parts. And there's more detail on this weekend's weather and weather warnings online and through our social media channels. But I want to talk to you about next Tuesday, because with that cold air in place on Monday, there'll be further wintry showers, but no significant widespread snowfall at this stage. It's really as we head into Monday and Tuesday that we're keeping a close eye on an area of low pressure in the Atlantic, which is expected to head east and dive to the south of the UK, colliding with all the cold air in place across the British Isles, increasing the risk of disruptive snowfall. But it all depends on the track of that area of low pressure. And because we're talking about an area of low pressure that doesn't even form for another three days, well, small changes in the weather over the next couple of days could have a big difference in the track that it takes next Tuesday night. And that's why we don't just run one computer simulation of that low, we run dozens each one giving us slightly different information about the track of the low. We can see the extreme ends of the spectrum, but also nail down the most likely path for that low. Now, at one extreme end of the spectrum, a minority of computer simulations send that low pressure well into the Mediterranean and keep us with just a few wintry showers, rain, sleet and snow around coasts, frost and ice by night. But at the other extreme end of the spectrum, a minority of computer simulations send that low through the English Channel, bringing the risk of widespread significant snowfall for parts of England and Wales and the risk of considerable disruption. The reality is likely to lie somewhere in between, with that area of low pressure pushing into France, bringing widespread snowfall to France, but also perhaps clipping southern parts of England and Wales, still bringing, for some, the risk of disruptive snowfall. So if you've got plans on Tuesday night, it is certainly a case of stay up to date with the forecast. We will firm up on the details over the next few days and bear in mind that your weather app just takes into account one computer simulation of many. What we can say for next Tuesday night is that it will be cold. There's an increased risk of snow and ice particularly across parts of England and Wales. Keep up to date. We will keep you updated right here at the Met Office.